name? Mike Wilson. All right, Mike, where are you from? Uh, originally from uh, Virginia, but okay. I moved down here to go to school and then just been in here in Atlanta for 20 years or so. All right, and what's your role here at Patchwork? I am the chief engineer and the co-owner of the studio. All right, and how long have you been here? 17 years. Cool, cool. And what did you just talk to the, uh, the young adults about today? I was just talking to them about the mixing process and how the mixing is taken from the recording that people do and then we convert it through the mixing process into what the, the general public hears in, the, in CD. Okay. And so what do you think, as far as the biggest thing that you see that comes to the studio, the biggest mistake that people are making right now as it relates to being in the industry? Uh, being in the industry is, I think most people don't understand that it's a business. Um, I think that probably is the biggest misconception. I think I think people hear that labels and they understand it's a it's a company and things like that, but they got to understand it's a business that it's that it exists to make money through using you know through selling songs and using artist creativity. And I think a lot of people they don't they forget about that part and they only think about the creativity part and that, now which is great because you want good creative songs, but you, if you want to make it in the industry, you got to understand the business part too. You don't have to know it. You don't have to be a lawyer. You don't have to be an accountant. You don't have to be, you know, any of those people. You, there's people that do that, but you have to understand at least the roles that these people have so that when you're doing these kind of things in the industry, whether you're an artist or producer or whatever, you understand the other roles that people have so that you don't end up, you know, falling to the wayside and, and not really um, becoming a real part of the industry like you want to be, which that's what everybody's goal is. And they're the career, they want to be in the industry and they want to do this as a career. I love it. I love, so. We talked a little bit in the class about learning from other people and learning from experiences. You've been in a lot of sessions. What are some of the sessions that stand out and what are some of the things you pulled from? Um, I think a lot of the sessions that I liked were the ones, um, a lot of ones were the earlier earlier days where they actually, and you know, it's always fun you know, when the budgets are more unlimited and they got a lot more time and you know, it, it's not so much of a rush thing. So a lot of the stuff I did with um, with Organized Noise and Outcast was a lot of fun because they use a lot of live musicians. They were real creative when it came down to doing all of those different kinds of things that they did with Outcast. And the, and the, the guys themselves um, were real um, innovative, I think, in, as far as introducing Southern style rap. And I think it was a complete new take on what New York and LA were already doing. So I thought that was a lot of fun doing those and doing the TLC sessions and all those. Those were all with organized noise and they were a lot of fun. Um, I also enjoy doing stuff with Beyonce. She's a real fun artist to work with, real humble. Um, and so, you know, it, those kind of sessions I think are, are, are you know, they, they really stand out to me. It's things that I really enjoy doing. It, when did the mo when was the moment that you knew that you were great? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm great. I'm just a guy that does a job for people. And it's not, I think being great is, you know, I, I think that's kind of what other people think of you. It's not what you think of yourself. So if people think, hey, man, you do a great job mixing, I really love it, great. That's that's great because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's that's why I'm here and that's why uh, what I'm trained to do and, and what I'm supposed to be doing for, for all these clients. So, you know, I wouldn't say that I'm great. I'm just a guy that's doing a job that, that, that people need to make music sound good. And if you knew then what you know now? I knew then what I know now. I don't know that I changed too much. I kind of like, I mean, I like the way it's going. I'm... I can't say that, I mean, I'm thrilled about some of the way the music has kind of changed because of the internet and the computers and stuff like that. I think a little bit of the sound quality has been lost, um, you know, but but I think overall, you know, the road I took, I like it. I can't really say that, that I would change too much. I really have enjoyed being with Patchwork the whole time. You know, it was fun going up because I worked, I, when I first started, I worked with a, an established studio and that's one thing. But then when you start working with a company that's kind of worked their way up and they started at the ground not knowing how to even get in this industry and then they stepped in and then they were willing to listen to a lot of the ideas that people had to kind of build the company that it is now and then to actually become the owner of it you know one of the co-owners of the, of the actual facility you know it's, it's it's a cool growth pattern you know to come to, to something to where you start at a, at a level and then you kind of take it to the echelon and i always said i'll never own a studio i said that from the i was like yeah i'm not gonna own a studio i just want to work in a studio and not but then when you actually do it, it's like, oh, you know, this is pretty cool. It's not so bad. <laughs> so, you know, I think that, that I don't know that I changed too much on, uh, on the progress of it. I think I kind of like to enjoy the, the path that I took. Cool. I love yeah. it. Thank cool. you, sir.